Hey guys, I want to give you a tour of the <laughs> what is going to be Tri-Tech Computers. Let me turn the loudest fan on the planet off. So obviously, this is the door. It's a door. And if you look around, we've got this hallway sort of set up. It goes around and then comes back. So what we've got here, this shelf here, is going to be customer units. Once I get everything organized, it'll be customer units. Over here is storage, and then there's storage, and then there's storage, and there's, there's a lot of storage. Down here, I have my printer, but it's blocking some stuff, so I think I'm going to find another home for it soon. It, this is all storage. Over here, I have my server. The old server over here, this thing was actually... Some of you saw it teased, but this is a Cooler Master Elite 110 case. It's powered by a 12 volt adapter. It has three 3 terabyte hard drives. It runs Linux, specifically Crux Linux. Um, I just put a fresh version 3.7 on there. I used to run a much, much older version. Obviously, we got a battery backup here. If we go down a bit, what's peeking out down here? Oh, hello. This right here that I shoved back temporarily. This is my 24 port gigabit network switch, which is wasted right now. Uh, a couple of these wires run to the printer and are just kind of over there. These are desktops. These are desktops. Obviously, most of that is IMAX. Those are my video lights. I haven't figured out where to put these various office supply drawers yet. Um, camera and tripod and such equipment there for my production monitors that is an old VHS camera this is my shotgun microphone lights I haven't figured out where I want to put those yet so they're just living up there customer unit ignore that uh, you can see my uh, film development stuff is in there actually a lot of this stuff was just thrown into the bins it wasn't really organized very well I've got bulk cat5 cable there a bunch of vhs's i bought at a thrift store there for 10 cents a pop yeah lots of future content right um uh, i fairly recently bought this via based wind term computer it's really a jetway of course the phone's gonna go off for the first time today with a scammer calling when i'm trying to do this Business cards, microphone, camera, uh, storage that is wasted. Obviously, we've got a ways to go before I'm really set up. These, This box is, I built something in it and I may throw it away. That is a nice fella named Patrick sent me a computer all the way from halfway across the country to be repaired. I have a, actually, this is really cute. I gotta figure out where to put it. And I'm a little worried, a little worried about opening it because it's a bit fragile. But, this thing is one of those Japanese cats that's supposed to improve your business, Manaki Neko. Except this one, instead of having a curled paw, has a much more uh, Jody-like paw. I don't know where the power switch is on this thing. But, um, yeah, you get the idea. So, we'll set him up at some point. Anyway, um, just random stuff I haven't sorted through. These are mostly customer units. That giant gun case is all my backup hard drives for my big storage server with all my 4K footage for my clients on it and stuff. VHS, obviously those are all VCRs. I do VHS rips. Power Mac G5 towers. Um, let's see... That is an all-in-one, that's a TV, that's an uh, old Dell monitor. Where is the thing I'm looking for, though? They're all the way in the back. If you look back... Oh, God, how am I going to get back there? Uh, sneak a peek back here. Oh, yeah. Those are... Those are iMac G5s. I have all these old iMacs because the old iMacs will... Uh, they're useful for using old versions of Final Cut and seeing how things really work. Also, there still are um, Firefox-based browsers that people maintain for those old iMacs. That futon's gonna go. I don't need it anymore. I haven't needed it for a long time. It's just sort of been in storage. 
Um, I have a thin client set up here. This is an HP T520. <clears throat> it's an AMD GT56N or something like that processor. Um, I don't have it wired up because I was setting up my server using this terminal. But this thing is basically my little Linux workstation just for random things so that I don't have to plug everything into the server all the time. This charging timer here was provided by my girlfriend. She is wonderful, and when it goes off it's very, very loud and annoying, which is perfect for letting you know that an hour has passed. Security camera, work phone, charger for phone, um, drives for various purposes. Nice big sound system. There's my big ugly computer. Actually, let's come around here. Let's talk about what we have. These are spiffy little clicky keyboards by Razer that I'll never buy again. I'll never buy a Razer product again because they try to install crap drivers on your computer and won't take no for an answer. Um, this is going to be the soldering you know, I mean, it's fairly obvious, disassembly and soldering station here. This uh, set of chairs is my chair. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious. This is my go bag. Now, why do you have a go bag? Are you, are you preparing for the world to end, Jody? Well, no. No, I'm not preparing for the world to end. I'm preparing for clients. So, in the pocket here, I have this hard case, this waterproof hard case, it has a variety of things. I took some of that foam out, but kept some of it. Um, flash drives, I've got here. Flash drives, HDMI, this is a 1080p 30 capture card, so I can do video capture on the go if I need to. Various flash drives. A uh, larger capacity solid state, this is a USB to 2.5 SATA adapter. This is a USB to NVMe PCI Express SSD adapter so that I can plug up a PCI Express SSD. Some of them, some of them don't work properly with it, but some of them do and that's all that I need. So I can do a lot of things on the go just with that. But in here, the main compartment, um, in the back there is a Logitech K400. Uh, I wish I could get something that didn't default to function uh, or media keys instead of function or at least could have it changed K400 plus because I hate media keys I want function keys but you have to use their software to switch the default and it has to be installed on the computer which means Linux or boot time or any of that you're screwed anyway these are um, when they were sold they were I think called really useful boxes there you go I've had them for a very long time and these bad boys, I did this instead of a normal tool bag because, like, this box holds all my tools, and it's going to be kind of hard for, to show it all to you. Let me see if I can help the camera there. I mean, we got pliers, we got a retractable utility knife with replacement blades in the back, always handy. Good pair of scissors, a bunch of screw. I don't need that many screwdrivers. Why are there so many screwdrivers? Uh, yeah, I'll take a couple of those out. Flashlight, electrical tape, a compact HP size Torx. Here's a diagonal cutters, a smaller Phillips. These are all because some things you can't use bit-based screwdrivers. And then Walmart sells this $25 electronic repair kit that is fantastic. If you need something like this, this is fantastic. I don't use the pry tools. I have my own metal pry tool that pisses off half the people in the comments, and I don't care. They'll get over it. Um, I'm doing the repairs, not them, so I don't care what they think. But anyway, this uh, this kit has pentalobes and, and everything that you could possibly imagine. Um, all in one nifty little magnetizing bit kit. So all the hard tools go in one box. And that box is in the middle for the easiest access because tools are the most needed. Let me set you down for a second. So this box here that I'm having trouble getting into, because it's over to the side, this box contains a variety of USB items. We've got USB to SATA, USB 3 hubs, USB to parallel IDE, USB to gigabit ethernet on computers with USB 3 but 10100. That can sometimes be handy. Another USB SATA, a couple of used hard drives, a few brand new SSDs, and I carry all those parts with me. 
because if a customer needs a new SSD, then I've grabbed my go bag, I know I've got one. So I probably should put a SATA cable in there, but uh, anywho. I don't have NVMe because the vast majority of computers that will get SSD upgrades don't have SSD specific NVMe slots. This is going to be dicey because it's over this way. So let me point the camera here. This bin, is it has the liquids, it has the epoxy, it has my, uh, this tool or whatever, bike chain oil, I use to oil fans, my Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste, a bunch of universal laptop adapter tips. For some reason I never put an adapter, there's a magnifying loop down there in the corner, there's a pen, a Q-tip for the epoxy, some electrical tape, and there's a hard drive and SSD that goes to a job, which is why they're separated. Um, I haven't finished that job, so they're just sort of in limbo. But I put them in there just to keep them separate. I don't think there's anything in these other pockets, though. There's, oh, there's ibuprofen, you know, because computer repair is such a damn headache. Anywho, closed, damn it. Um, that's my go bag. Uh, I've got my big bulky 4K blah 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 editing PC that just went black because of course there's everyone's favorite video website. You uh, you may be familiar with YouTube and Freesound and all that crap. Um, that's my DVX 100 or um, DVX 200. I can't remember what it is. Um, it's a DVX whatever the good one is that I keep forgetting. Uh, monitor awful um weird power strip with smiling smiling sockets and we've got a lamp here that i seem to have misplaced the power switch for turn on thank you got a lamp you're familiar with this this directly transferred over <coughs> and that's really about it i mean there's a ups there's a giant power strip there and there's another giant power strip down here underneath everything it's hard to see but that silver strip there yeah power strip and that's about it so it's still a work in progress but uh this is where all the new streaming recording blah 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 production everything is going to be happening hope you uh hope you liked it and i'll let you know how things go in the meantime Say hello to my little friend. Oh yeah.